Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Yeah, I'm still fishing. I just got done fishing with Charles. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out and m multiple videos. But I'm out here with Matt now and Maddie. Say hello, Maddie. Maddie, looking at the camera, say hello. Hi. Anyway, still crazy wind, but we're Matt's gonna have to worry about the wind. I'm just sitting back here and fishing. I ain't worried. I'm not worried about the wind. I'm worried about Maddie hitting me though with that. We're gonna do some bass fishing and possibly crappie fishing. Maddie's trying to get that little crappie jig out there. It's she's having a hard time in the wind. But we're gonna go down, work down this dam, and uh, see hang on. Bass and Bonsai Adventure starts right now, Maddie. And we were right over there. Real quick story. If you guys go back and watch one of the original videos fishing with Maddie, we're right out here somewhere. And she's like, "Bass and Bonsai, what's that?" You remember that, Maddie? She don't remember. She was too little. Me and Matt remember, thought it was pretty funny. Since this bait just seems to work every time I throw it. Hey, we got all the other jigs in there if you want to. Might as well throw it just to try it. Black one with the yellow starfruit. Better throw these socks down in the hole because that wind blew them right out of this boat. Damn, I don't care, but the guy that I've seen today catching crappie, he's doing black with starfruit. Okay, we're going to switch. Something else. I'm gonna try this color. Matt's already got my favorite color on. He's trying right at the moment. So I'm gonna rig up a jabber jaw for the dam here and just other places, especially over there where I caught my last big one. Wasn't it every time we come here, it was always morning, way back when? Morning and midday and then leave. Yeah, I always did my best top water here of an evening. Right here at the boat. What do I have? Oh my gosh. Matt's got the wrong color on. <laughs> I got that, uh, what they call regurgitated shad. Well, no, just yank it then. If you get a bite on one of them, honey. It won't open. Yeah, you don't have to wait for him to take that. If you get a bite, just pull it. And you don't have to yank that off. <sighs> Wouldn't open his mouth. Sure you had a bite, All right. Back on him. Jabber jaw. When you see rocks along the bank, that's when you throw a jabber jaw. If you see wood within 50 yards, put the jabber jaw up, kids. <laughs> I've had bad luck. I've lost two. How many? I'll put it this way. I only got three jabber jaws left. I think I lost two today, which means I've lost two before that, I think. So I've got three left. I've lost four in my time fishing jabber jaws. That sucker was right. I can throw under docks really good. Yeah. You got me beat because I Almost suck. Than my dad. Yeah. Let's just back Matt up with that. The little jig that could over here. There you go. Hold on. Give it to Charlie, Matt. Hey, Charlie. What do you got? Hung up? Ooh, is that a copy? You better back up. She hung. All right, guys. Bandito bug, sprayed lettuce, Matt's favorite stump. Sprayed lettuce? Yeah, sprayed grass. They call it. Matt got one. Look at that got one. That, that is, is a crappie. Huge. Look at that crappie. Yeah, lady. I caught one about like that last. What? Dad, can I? Can I? Um, that thing is huge. Can I? Can I what? <laughs> the hell are you trying to? You say? can't even talk. What else you want to do? Appreciate the crappie jig, Charlie. Yeah. He ain't even that big. I mean, he's big, but yeah, he that's ready. almost a pound. Oh, let me see, Dad. Yeah, I caught a pound and a quarter at a place up from JR's on the jabber jaw. Oh, it looked just like that one. Uh oh. Get it in a boat. Look at that. Maddie got her a crappie. She's been crappie fishing since we got here. And I finally got one. And she got it. Yes. Oh, I just had a bite too. My first crappie I got a in like a fish year. Fish way and a half. over there. Oh. Little bandito bug pulls yeah, in a little bass. We're on, on a little honey hole right here with crappie and bass. Drop him in there. I caught a crappie, Dad. Wee! All right, let's go, kids. Okay. Let's see how long this bandito bug lasts. 
The only person I've ever really seen fishing was the bonsai guy, the regular bandito bug, and he liked his. I like them on their own. What are you talking about? This bandito bug junior is on, man. I've only made like one cast. I dropped it by that stump twice and then cast once. So let's move to this side. Let's well, let's see if we can catch a giant while they're preoccupied with crappie right there. Give me my pole back. Maddie just caught a big crappie. That's definitely over a pound. That's about as big as the one I caught, probably pound and a quarter. Look at Matt. He hung a stump talking about. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's probably a pound and a quarter. It looks just like the one I caught that day. Oh, yeah. That's what Matt's like, no, that's a bass. I'm like, no, that's a big crappie. It's so big. Dad, you need to put more water in this. No, I don't. You need to keep catching crappies. That was fun. I bet it was. Can I have my pole back now? Dad, all I did was let it sit there. Can I have my pole back no. now? No. All I did fix was let jig. it sit there. Your trailer's, see how you got to push it back up. All I did was let it sit there, and then when you were moving the boat, I just let it sit. Yeah, so I trolled you. So I kind of caught that too, didn't I? Kind of. Hmm. Not really, no. I reeled it on my pole. Hey, quit talking. Get some more of those. It don't take too many of those to we make it. We need to go back over no. there, though. Throw it over there. It's right where you guys were catching them from the get-go, really. I know what color I need. That's four on white. Just all white? That one's all white, yeah. I thought I saw a little chartreuse on the head or something. Oh, that's the... That's the... The, hook. the jig head. Well, that, that you counts. You're right. <laughs> there. Oh my gosh, I got a giant, guys. I was kind of hoping that was a bass. Bandito bug, it is a bass. I mean, it got... Crappie? I'm all no. excited over here. Yeah, we need to go back over Maddie, here. Maddie, we're going. Well, maybe if I threw the bigger bandito bug, I might have more luck with bigger bass. <laughs> So far, the little junior is catching little dinks. But it is catching them. Well, these guys are tearing up some crap. I can't make myself just fish for crappie. I just can't do it. I usually catch enough accidentally to, like... That's what I... I keep running into these people that, whether it be Bass Pro or wherever, they come up asking me 50 million questions, you know. About About just everything, you know, bass. and I, I mainly catfish. I'm like, oh, I used to. I don't need more... The, but no, they're mainly asking bass questions. I'm like, I point to my hat like, bass and bonsai, teach you everything you need to know. But this old older guy came in there and he's like, I'm a cat fisherman. He goes, I just like, you know, so what What do you recommend? He goes, spinnerbaits? I go, oh, no, no, chatterbait. I go, you going to a pond? Throw a chatterbait. Oh, for bass? I said, or a spinnerbait, but trust me, get both. Get a chatterbait and a spinnerbait because it's for his kids, his boys. I'm oh, like, yeah. just have them throw both. Yeah, something's... Some what keeps working That's over bass there? bass working on the bank. But then I ran into the... I go to Bass Pro, and I run into a guy that's his first day, so I'm walking him around showing him where stuff is and, you know, what's what. I had a fish running with it. Maddie, throw it out. Let it sink for a second, then reel it real slow. I almost was barely moving mine. Yeah, if you get roughly can figure out what depth and just cast and reel around, you just tear them up. If I could figure out. You snagged up. You just wrap it around. You ain't snagged up. You're gonna get the fish to go nine o'clock. Here, I need a fish. We can figure out the depth of them. I mean, it ain't like you can't see them. Oh, there's a, there's another one. Oh man, I'm tearing up these little bass. 
I am on it, guys. Oh, look at this. You guys can't even catch crappie this little. <laughs> look how fat that. All right, the bandito bug, as you guys can see, it works. A little junior deal. And I've caught, what, three fish, and it could still be used again. But we're going to toss it right there. I told Matt I want him to try these. I need to try these myself. See what I think of them. Vigilante. You guys ever use these? Now, Matt, you didn't even pull the appendages apart, did you? The what? The sides. You didn't break them loose, did you? No, I didn't. I'm going to break them loose. Matt, you might have a good one. I'm going to pull all of these loose just to let that baby rock and roll. Which one did you use as a bottom? Huh? Oh, they got it to where the purple is the bottom is how they recommend it looks like. They got eyes up there. so Purple bottom, so you go in, come out. Oh, I see what you're talking about. That is cool, kind of how they do that. Yeah, the, the little, like the block up there. Yeah, the block to hold it. Well, that... EWG hook. Right. You gotta get you another bait. No. You can get in there, Get in there. Once, yeah. Closer than this, just drop it that out. does look good. Let's try it. I just threw that bandito bug in all these spots. So let's just hit it again. Right beside. Well, that's one I have on. I'm catching them on it. But you had a different one on. I don't know which one, where it come from. That That's out of this box. Because we use this. Use that curly tail. White and yellow. Try that. That woke the neighborhood up. Uh, that was loud. Okay. Let's try right up in there, right up in and amongst it. There we go. That was quick. Let's see how durable this is. Oh, they're getting bigger. That is five times as big as the last one I had. <laughs> and still he ain't but a quarter pounder maybe. Jesus. Nice little chunk. Bait still holding up. No effect on it so far. Just to see if there's a faster bite going. Oh my goodness. Down in the wind too. Oh, I, I got a fish all the way. That is a long ways out. Come on, you need to be a skier. <laughs> you need to be a skier. Fast. Gonna, oh, it came off. No, wait, did he? I'm chattering. It was little. I, no, I was chattering, but I still had him. He's coming along. He's like, all right. Whoo, that was a long winded. <laughs> but see how this rod is? Like, I got him. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a hookup ratio is crazy with this thing. You just told me. It's a dead crappie. Wasn't even recording. Chatterbait is working now that the sun is down. Maddie, come here and grab him. Grab what? Yeah. A little dead fish for bait. Already got a little stink going to him. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't tell if those fins are... I think he's dead. Get him, girl. Get him, girl. Get him. Get him. It's funny. He looks like a bass. He does, kind of, don't It's a crappie. No, that's a... He's still alive, but that's some kind of panfish. It is, too. You know the, but it looks like a freaking custom bait is what that does. Right. right, I know. It looks like it'll work. I just seen his mouth move. Yeah, he he opened his mouth, flared his gills. 
He was drowning. You saved him. Put him in live well. He's a fishologist. He knows about this thing. Yeah. They can tell by the tone of his skin. All right, let's go. Finding bait, just floating like it's out everywhere. It's easy to find. <laughs> right here. Charlie caught one there. We're gonna see if we can catch a couple more real quick. Can't leave after right directly after chatterbait fish. You gotta hit that spot again. Okay, you got to go 50 yards in front of the boat, and they're every 50 yards. So I had one here, that one was about probably close to 50 yards, wasn't it? Okay. So about every 50 yards, there is a bass that hit a chatterbait. All right, you can go, girl. Yep. Now we know we got a pattern every 50 yards down the bank. Once we get to the spot, where are we going? Uh, Straight. Over there. I need to drink a Diet Coke, girl. We're getting ready to get on them. I feel a big fish coming tonight. Yeah, this poor little reel needs some grease on the... Oh, I got, oh, I got a little dink. If I got, or I got something. I don't know what I got. Well, maybe it came off, or it's swimming at me. I think I got a little dink. All the ones I caught today were swimming at me. Now he started fighting. Yeah, he just a little dink swimming around with it. We didn't want him anyway. Well, that is not what I was expecting. Come on, Jabberjaw. Oh boy, I got a, I had a giant. Wait, he's, oh, I still got him. He may have got bigger. What do I have? No, I think I foul hooked. <laughs> it got like heavy all at once, and I'm like, I could have swore that was a little bite. Wow, he didn't even catch him. I even threw the jabber draw one more time just because. What's this? Hang on, let me put my glasses on. Get a crawdad? I'm trying to see what he's eating. What is in his mouth? That, that little, there's one. He's fat. Oh, I thought he'd come off. Yeah. Oh Can my I God. Can I see what's in his mouth? I don't know what's in his mouth. What's up with them being caught like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matt's got out on his own. Let me see. I don't know what, I don't know if it's just gunk or what, but he definitely had something in his mouth. I can't see down there. I think it's just gunk. Uh, it is, like the grass. Yeah, maybe he just opened his mouth and you surprised him he's like ah! yeah scared him something hooked me in the back oh he's trying to jump back in the boat that was a jumper we didn't see it though i think they're just it ain't the jabber jaw ain't on matt but you're scaring these little bass are just hitting out like oh get away definitely weren't trying to eat it we just had two of them and we're still throwing it like morons <laughs> put it up <laughs> not me uh, about to pull it back out one more time did you get it yeah it's just rocks that's why i said this is a good bait for these rocks i mean it may not be on or whatever but when it it's oh, I didn't see that it definitely has that ability to just get down there and bang on the rocks that's and what i noticed today about it like it just comes if you get caught it's not off for a second go ahead and roll it over see if you can get it over it it goes figure it's the best fish maybe the fish of the day i wasn't even recording bandito bug zero caught the fish Got a new bug. Might be able to bite this head off. One for one? That sounded like a zoom. No, I caught them little dink earlier, a few of them, but. It caught a couple. Yeah, that, that was the. <clears throat> oh, the deep dive jabber dog. Yeah, I'm going to try to shorten it just a hair. And still get the hook in.
Bandito bug. There we go. Here's a fish. Hang on, guys. Showstopper. Showstopper coming to your hometown. Yeah, it's just a little further away from... Whoa, stop it. Oh, wow, you got... There you go. Oh, it popped off. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that fish. He... You scared that fish. He definitely hit it, though. Let's try that. Sometimes it'll do it. Yeah, don't pop. <laughs> it's almost stupid. Yeah, so you don't give. Well, I know now why. I got a little bitty one. Oh my goodness. Showstopper. Uh oh. He did white chatter bait. White chatter. I told you guys. Just think how many dinks I would have had if I threw a white chatterbait earlier. Just think. One more cast and then I'm done. Yep. Last cast, kids. Well, I got a white rod. I can fish all night. We can fish all night. You, if you throw a white chatterbait and a white rod, you can fish all night. Bass and bonsai, that's a wrap. Say goodbye, Maddie. Bye. See you guys later. Fishing was so good, man. Yeah.